Hello, this is a video about one sample hypothesis testing, calculating the p-value. You are conducting a study to see if the proportion of voters who prefer candidate A is significantly different from 0.86. Thus, you are performing a two-tailed test. Your sample data produce a test statistic of Z is equal to 1.675. Find the p-value. So the p-value would be the the area of my tail or tails <clears throat> underneath my curve. In this case, you're dealing with a two-tailed test, which means you have two tails. So your p-value is actually the area of the right-hand tail plus the area of the left-hand tail area of the right-hand tail plus area of the left-hand tail. Well, I know that my test statistic is 1.675. Since I'm dealing with a proportion, I know I'm dealing with the standard normal distribution. My test statistic was Z, so I know that my mean is zero, which means my 1.675 should be located over to the right-hand side here. All right, so I can find the area of this right-hand tail. And actually, the area of the left-hand tail will literally be identical. It will be the same exact value. <laughs> so in this case, I know that my mean is 0, standard deviation is 1. The lower bound that I'll put in Google Sheets will be 1.675. Upper bound is going to be positive infinity, also known as just putting in six nines, a really big positive number. So now we go to Google Sheets. You'll want to go to the Compute tab. Under the normal region here, your mean is zero, standard deviation is one, your lower bound is 1.675, your upper bound is six nines. Look at your probability. So this is the area of that right tail, 0 0.047, if I round. But I wanna keep this, I wanna write it out as 0 0.04967, 0 0.04967. So 0 0.04967. Nine six seven, which means my left tail is also 0 0.04967. So technically, all I have to do to find my p-value now is take that number or that area of one tail, 0 0.04967, the more decimal places you keep, the better, and multiply it by two, since we have two tails or two regions that we have to include the area for. So when you multiply by two and round your final answer to four decimal places, you get 0 0.0939. So my p-value, the total area of my tails is actually 0 0.0939. Thanks for watching.